so students uh, in previous lecture i had discussed about what is the definition of ecosystem right what are the components of that ecosystem right or what are the factors of that ecosystem now i will explain types of ecosystem in detail now as i already told you that ecosystem is classified into main two types terrestrial ecosystem and marine ecosystem now terrestrial ecosystem includes what as well as marine ecosystem include what so terrestrial ecosystem includes forest grassland semi arid areas desert mountains and island while marine ecosystem includes pond lake wetland river delta and marine so this is the one pictorial presentation in which both biotic as well as abiotic factors are present now what is the components of that ecosystem i will explain each ecosystem one by one so in this sub chapter i will explain the structure characteristics and function of ecosystem forest ecosystem forest ecosystem is a one type of terrestrial ecosystem because it is present on to the land now how forests are formed these forests are formed by a different communities of plant millions of plant species are available around the globe so when they come together then they will form forest now what are the different types of plants into that forest so forest have trees forest have shrubs forest have climbers and ground cover now the natural vegetation looks vastly different from a group of planted trees because there is no any controlling mechanism plant grows as per their wish so the most natural undisturbed forest are mainly located in our national parks as well as in wildlife sanctuary students why i am focusing on to this because see nature is a best teacher right so when we will provide them a suitable habitat then and then it will grow so they their growth is not controlled right they grow as per the availability of area as well as the availability of resources now the landscape that make up various types of forest look very different from each other their distinctive appearance is fascinating aspect of the nature each forest type forms a habitat for a specific community of animals and that are adapted to live in it see only plant will not called as an ecosystem see community of plants will prepare a good environment that good environment will become a habitat for animals it will become a habitat for birds also it will will also be the habitat for different microorganisms insect and so on so this is the <coughs> pictorial image of forest ecosystem see how beautiful it is now what is a forest ecosystem forest ecosystem have two parts that is living part as well as non living part non living part is also called as not abiotic part or abiotic factors and living parts includes what animals and so on so non living parts include what actually the land forest ecosystem have hills they also have mountains they also have uh, plain area also now the biotic factors includes what macro plants as well as micro plants now students habitat will provide a suitable environment for these plants 
and these plants will also categorize into two types that is angiospermic plant as well as gymnospermic plant now the animal includes what animals includes mammals birds reptiles amphibians fish insects invertebrates and varieties of microscopic plants so as a part of that plant and animals they depend on one another and together they will form forest community and man is a part of that forest ecosystem and the local people also depends on that forest ecosystem because forest will act as a life support system for their survival now what are the different types of forest in india i am going to list right see for classification of this forest in india we have to consider soil characteristics we also have to consider climate characteristics and by considering these two factors india have different forest first one is coniferous forest second one is broad leaved forest third one is evergreen forest fourth one is deciduous forest fifth one is mangrove forest now i will explain these sub types of forest found in india one by one so this is coniferous forest now why it is called coniferous forest see if you see the shape of their plant leaves then it just like a cone right so they are dominating uh, into the mountains of himalaya where the temperature is low so if the climate having low temperature then it will be a suitable environment for the development of coniferous plant now these forests have tall trees with needle like leaves and they also have downward sloping branches so that snow can slip up from their branches then second broad leaved forest now broad leaved forest also have sub types it includes evergreen forest deciduous forest thorn forest and mangrove forest now first one evergreen forest so this is the image of evergreen forest from that amazon now era evergreen forest in india grow in high rainfall especially into the western ghat into the north eastern india as well as into the andaman and nicobar islands second deciduous forest so this is the picture of deciduous forest deciduous forests found in a region with a moderate amount of seasonal rainfall i am repeating deciduous forests are present in a region with a moderate amount of seasonal rainfall that last only for few months they shed their leaves during winter and hot summer in into the month of march and april they again regain their fresh leaves just before the monsoon when they grow vigorously in response to the rains then light can penetrate easily onto this type of forest then third thorn forest so this is the uh, one image of thorn forest thorn forest are found in semi arid region of india the trees which are separately distributed are surrounded by open grasses area they able to conserve the water that's why it is also called a not zero fight and they have thorns fourth one mangrove forest so this is the image of mangrove forest see these mangroves grow in a mixture of saline and fresh water they grow luxuriantly in muddy areas which covered with silt that the rivers have brought down mangrove trees have breathing roots that emerge from their mud banks now students after discussing all these types of forest what will be the function of forest how forest is important for us see forest control local climate forest control water regime 
forest retains moisture forest also try to release try to slow release through their perennial streams forest will acts as an a fuel wood to cook food now we are using lpg cylinder but in villages people use forest wood for the cooking of their food it will be also acts as an a fodder for domestic animals plants from that forest is also used as a building material we can also obtain some medicinally important plants right to control the disease so that's why they are also known for uh, known for what uh, medicinal forest varieties of fibers canes gums household articles all these are also prepared or obtained from forest thank you